And the Vikings set to go on offense to begin the third quarter. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two score games start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. Off the bootleg, Dawson steps away. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Off the bootleg, Dawson. They'll roll him out right. Yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 14. 132 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Off the bootleg, Dawson. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. TJ Hawkinson, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Vikings have cut it back within a score. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead is down to a field goal. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was T.J. Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. On second down now, Monroe, and only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Operating from the gun. Herbert. And that'll be. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42 yard line. Well, the touchdown a minute ago on offense got him back into it. And now the defense turns right around and forces the turnover. And you and I both know if you're going to come from as far down as they have to, it's going to take both sides of the ball, maybe even the special teams, to get involved. And so far, they've done exactly that. Offense scores, defense does its job. They're making their move. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. And they're going to speed things up here. On first and 10, Dawson. And he's got this to Jefferson. And the Vikings are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings have retaken a third quarter lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will make this a four point game. Following the 
touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Lions offense set to take over. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw complete there to St. Brown. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Looking to throw. Herbert. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Up the middle they go. Monroe, he's got it to the 43 here. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Back to throw. Herbert. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And that will keep this a four-point game. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Taken down on the play by Aiden Hutchinson. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Off the bootleg, Dawson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Looking to throw, Dawson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Off play action, Dawson. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Lions will take over here at their own 12-yard line. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. That's what you call a rookie mistake. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. 
On the option right, Herbert. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 14 yards that time, and a first down on the keeper. Now a handoff up the middle. Monroe. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Back to throw. Herbert. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And the Vikings pick up the football. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. So, buying time to his left. That's complete to Smith Marset. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. Looking to throw, Dawson, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And the sack leads to roughly a loss of six, and it brings up second and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal, but that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Slide, and he's going to go down again. Aiden Hutchinson. In there to drop him and sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. Off the play fake. Dawson. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Back to throw, Dawson. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Vikings get another third quarter. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Hopkins with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11 plays there on that drive and it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception following the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away and this will not be returned it'll come out to the 25 there again is the running back as he trots onto the field he enjoyed a good first half his team enjoyed a halftime lead but all of a sudden they've gone the other way and it would be so easy just pointing the fingers at the offensive guys. Say, okay, well, what's going on here? But maybe the defense made a yeah. few adjustments at the half and got a little bit better. Remember, they're professionals too. They have their pride. Yeah, those 11 guys have had something to say about it. On second down, Monroe. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 84 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Inside four minutes to go.